Did you know that in 18th century Paris, umbrellas were banned? Yes, you heard it right. It all began when a peculiar trend took the Parisian high society by storm. Wealthy Parisian women started using umbrellas, not as a shield against the unpredictable Parisian rain, but as a fashion statement. A statement that was as much about elegance as it was about practicality. These ladies, known for their delicate complexions, began to use umbrellas to protect themselves from the harsh rays of the sun. This peculiar use of umbrellas was a stark departure from their traditional rain-shielding role. It was a trend, a statement, a symbol of status, and a testament to the lengths the elite would go to maintain their spotless beauty. But like every trend that sweeps society off its feet, this too had its own share of problems. The use of umbrellas in this novel way led to unforeseen consequences. This unusual trend, however, led to unforeseen consequences. Imagine walking down a narrow Parisian street, only to find your path blocked by a sea of umbrellas. This was not a scene from a rainy day, no. These umbrellas were fashion statements, a status symbol for the wealthy Parisian women who sought to protect their delicate complexions from the harsh rays of the sun. But this peculiar trend was more than just a harmless fad. The umbrella congestion turned the city's narrow streets into mazes of silk and wood. Parisians found themselves maneuvering around these umbrellas, dodging left and right just to get to their destinations. The streets of Paris, known for their vibrant bustle and energy, were now clogged with these sun-shielding contraptions. The problem, however, was not just the physical inconvenience. The umbrella trend also highlighted a social divide. The wealthy could afford to parade around with their umbrellas, while the common folk had to weave their way around them. This stark contrast added an undercurrent of tension to the already congested streets. The pedestrian congestion caused by the umbrella trend quickly became a notable issue. The public outcry grew louder, with the common Parisians demanding that something be done about this peculiar yet disruptive trend. Day by day the chorus of discontent grew louder, catching the attention of those in power. The authorities who were initially amused by this unique fashion trend, could no longer ignore the growing discontent. The umbrella congestion was not just a minor inconvenience anymore, it was a societal issue that threatened to disrupt the harmony of the city, and so, they had to take action. The authorities unable to ignore the growing discontent had to take action. In response to the chaos the authorities decided to implement a ban on umbrellas. In a bid to regain control over the increasingly congested streets, the Parisian authorities sprang into action. The umbrella, a symbol of status, fashion, and practicality, was suddenly declared a public nuisance. It was a move that shocked the city, especially the wealthy Parisian women who had grown accustomed to their sun-shielding accessories. The ban was immediate and swift. Suddenly the streets of Paris were free of the umbrella congestion. The narrow lanes once choked with the parasol-wielding elite, saw a return of their usual hustle and bustle. The ban had achieved its purpose, at least in the eyes of the authorities. But the public reception was a different story altogether. The wealthy Parisian women, the primary users of these umbrellas, were taken aback by the abrupt ban. The accessory that had become an integral part of their daily attire was suddenly deemed illegal. It was a blow to their societal standing, their fashion statement, and their protection from the harsh sun. The ban stirred up a sense of discontent among the elite, and they didn't shy away from expressing their displeasure. The ban also had unintended consequences. The umbrella makers, who were enjoying a boom in their trade due to the parasol trend, suddenly found their businesses in jeopardy. The umbrella ban was more than just a decree. It was a disruption that had ripple effects throughout society. Yet, the ban was upheld. The authorities were determined to maintain the newfound order in their streets, even if it meant going against the fashion desires of the elite. The umbrella, once a symbol of status, was now a symbol of rebellion. But as with all things, change was inevitable. The discontent among the public, the struggling umbrella makers, and the practical need for sun protection stirred up a growing demand for the umbrella's return, and the authorities despite their initial resistance, were forced to reconsider their stance. The ban, however, could not last forever. As time passed, the umbrella ban became less and less practical. Indeed, the Parisian authorities found it increasingly difficult to enforce. The city had grown, the streets were wider, and the pedestrian congestion was less of a problem. But more than that, the need for umbrellas, the original purpose of these devices was undeniable. Rainstorms in Paris were frequent and unpredictable and Parisians, both wealthy and not, needed a way to shield themselves from the elements. 
Thus the ban was lifted and umbrellas once seen as a nuisance returned to the streets of Paris. This time they were used not only as a sun shield but also, and more importantly, as a defense against the rain. The umbrella had come full circle, from a practical tool to a fashion accessory, to a band item, and back to a practical tool again. In the years that followed, the use of the umbrella evolved even further. It became a staple in the Parisian landscape, an accessory as common as the baguette or the beret. And so umbrellas, once a symbol of congestion and chaos, returned to their rightful place as shields against the elements. The ban on umbrellas in 18th century Paris is a testament to the sometimes absurd nature of historical fashion trends. As we've journeyed through this peculiar slice of Parisian history, we've seen how a simple accessory, the umbrella, transformed from a practical tool into a fashion statement. It wasn't about rain protection anymore, but rather a shield against the sun to maintain those delicate complexions. This trend, however, led to an unforeseen problem, pedestrian congestion in the city's narrow streets, so much so that the authorities felt compelled to step in and ban the use of umbrellas. A ban on umbrellas, can you imagine? But as it often happens with bans, it was eventually lifted. The umbrella was once again allowed to grace the streets of Paris, no doubt to the relief of many a sun-shy Parisian woman. Reflecting on this we realize the lengths to which fashion trends can go, and the sometimes absurd impacts they can have on society. It's a fascinating glimpse at the interplay between fashion, society and law. Who knows what peculiar trends we might witness in the future. But one thing is certain, history, as it often does, will continue to surprise us.